Yeah, your Animal Crossing island ain't the only thing getting bigger. If you know what I mean. I'd shower you with coconut cream pies. All right, let's look at what we have today. We have a report on Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now, we have talked a little bit how there's been, you know, some rumors out there about potential uh, DLC coming related to the Zelda 35th anniversary. Uh, obviously expected. We did just recently get an Animal Crossing update to 1.1 that added a bunch of seasonal items for like the next, um, basically the next four mini holidays out there and all that. Okay, fine. But we haven't really had a major addition to Animal Crossing New Horizons since. I guess they added the swimming and diving to the game. So it's been kind of a, a dry spell since then. And Animal Crossing fans have been a little upset that we've just been getting these minor yearly seasonal update kind of things, which are nice. The events are nice. The furniture is cool. But, like, where when are we going to get the next major feature? When are we going to get the next major change? Well, data miners have gone through the latest update to version 1.1, and one significant change was made. Uh, and that change has to do with potentially the size of your island or the islands you visit or just, o just other areas of the game in general potentially getting bigger. So this data mine came from ACNH 1.1. And I got all this information from a YouTuber called, I think, Mayor Mori. Uh, I'll put a link down to his video on this. Uh, full credit to him for uh, reporting on this and giving all the details. Because we're going to talk about what this means, why this might mean that your island is expanding, what those expansions could be, or maybe other partner islands are expanding, or what this means on the opposite end if you want to think, hey, look, this is much to do about nothing. We're going to cover all of our bases here. We're not going to leave anything out there, and you guys can decide for yourselves. So first off, um, data miners uncovered this change in a following baseline for the southern shore of the island. So it said M South Shore baseline dot F32 colon 500 dot 000 000. And it was changed in version 1.1 to M South Shore Baseline dot F32 colon 1000 dot 000. That's right, they doubled the size of this value. Now, this value relates not only to how uh, big the shoreline can be, it also relates to the camera angle itself because this change was actually found inside the camera setting. And the camera setting limits how far out you're able to look. Obviously, the game always looks like the sea goes on forever, but that's clearly not the case. And the game limits you so what people are speculating here is that the game might be slowly being set up for a bigger update in the future that's going to allow you to either expand your island uh, you could also be having a smaller second island off the southern shoreline or it could just make the sea area bigger where you're able to go deep sea diving uh, and swim further and, and discover new things that aren't as close to the shore. So those are some of the speculations that are out there. And I got to say, this would be a pretty big addition because while a lot of people are perfectly happy with the size of the island, we've seen bigger areas in Animal Crossing before. So being able to have an even bigger island would be great. It's also notable that this setting is in the camera setting, which applies to the entire game. Meaning that, hey, when you go visit islands, it's possible those islands could be bigger too. And I think all of us can agree, the islands you visit, uh, not, not your friend's islands, but you know the islands in, in the normal flight of the game, could be... Uh, a bigger deal, right? You, it could be bigger. They, they all seem to be kind of small and compact. It would be nice to have some bigger islands, and a setting like this could allow that to be the case as well. So again, this is a major sign of a massive, significant change coming to Animal Crossing New Horizons. However, we need to go on the flip side here and look at why this might not be a big deal. Now, seasoned data miners uh, actually digged even further into this, apparently, and realized this chain was made in a setting for the camera, as we already talked about, um, but that, that's inaccessible to the public, this change. So, like, it doesn't really, you're not going to notice any change in the game. Um, this has made people theorize that, obviously, this setting has just been for testing purposes. Of course, why would they leave that setting in the game? But it goes even deeper than that. The reason this is believed is because the main island area already has this setting set for it. That's right. The southern shoreline island area was already set 
to 1000. The South Shore is already set to 1000 and now the camera just matches it. Again, you're not going to notice any difference in the game, but not all the southern shorelines on every island in the game are set to 1000. That's still a thing that wasn't really talked about much, uh, but I did some digging into the data mine itself, and it looks like, yeah, it, yeah. to be honest, all the islands you go visit that this camera setting also applies to, their shorelines aren't set to 1,000. They're set to 250. They're set to 500. So, yeah, it, it, this obviously could mean those islands are expanding eventually. So... I, there's a lot to digest here just in terms of the possibilities of island expansion either on your island or other islands obviously it looks like this might not be island expansion on your island but it could be island expansion on other islands this is just a, a lot of a, a lot to process here data miners are not necessarily what you would call rumors what data miners do is they kind of create speculation because they're looking at what's factually there this is a factual change in the code base we know it happened we aren't sure why it happened so now it's just a bunch of speculation to go along with it because again this camera change yeah okay it lines up with your island but now all the islands have it so why when you the islands aren't big enough to use it right so we'll see what happens uh again it could just be for testing it could be that you know what they're just setting the game up slowly to add things again remember they added bluetooth capability to the switch in the in the last update that enables you to use bluetooth headphones but we still can't use bluetooth headphones right they added the capability but they didn't enable it right so uh hackers have gone ahead and hacked the switch and shown that hey now that this is there you can actually enable Bluetooth headphones, and they're showing it working on hacked versions of Switches, but Nintendo doesn't have it enabled. So this could be one of those things that is setting up a bigger future update, and I think a lot of people, this game is still 33 million units. 33 million in like a year. I obviously think that Nintendo is well aware, is well aware that it is due a significant content update at some point, whether it's paid or not, right? We, we would hope it's not paid DLC, but even if it is, it's due a significant update, a significant expansion, but we also got to give them time. I think one thing that fans aren't being fair to the Animal Crossing New Horizons team about is that this game launched in the at the very beginning of a worldwide pandemic, Okay. Look at all the games getting delayed. Just factually look at all the games getting delayed. And now consider that this game came out when the pandemic started. That means the entire Animal Crossing New Horizons team has been trying to add content during a pandemic. So major content, you know, is going to take longer. So we need to be more patient, guys. Give it another year. Sometime in the next year, I'm sure we will have at least one major content patch. Again, be forgiving, guys. We're all dealing with this pandemic in different ways. All right, folks. Anyways, I'm Nintendo RoboJets from Nintendo Prime. Hopefully, you like this video. If you do, drop a like. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, be sure to tune in for all our E3 festivities. We have massive E3 plans coming up. Uh, you guys aren't going to want to miss it. So many giveaways. Uh, I'm going insane in the membrane over here. So, you know what? I'm going to catch you guys in the next video.